What's up everybody, Tech Trucker here, and today we are doing a back to the basics diorama tutorial of making a brick wall. So, some of the supplies you're gonna need are uh, some sort of a knife. Uh, a lot of people use an X-Acto knife. When I'm cutting my bricks, I use my utility knife, um, mainly because I've got a ton of extra blades and I usually never have exacto blades laying around. You're going to need some sort of a T-square or some sort of a small square. A pencil, preferably very, very sharp. Uh, obviously you're going to need your foam board for your, for your project. A regular uh, ruler, preferably metal of some sort, and I prefer, I'm, and I'm glad that mine has both standard American and um, metric. And then optionally, uh, I found, and I will, I will put a link in the description, um, when I'm trying to calculate my scale sizes from, you know, actual to 1 12th scale, I use this app, it's called Scale Calc. Uh, it's on an Android device, and like I said, I'll post a link in the description below. Uh, but this really speeds up the process of uh, translating from uh, 1 to 1 to 1 to 12. You can choose pretty much any, any scale you want. You can translate into metric, uh, standard American inches, whatnot. So uh, this is invaluable and it's a free app which is awesome all right before we actually get started um, we're gonna do just a standard red brick and so the actual dimensions are three and five eighths inches seven and five eighths inches and two and a quarter inches and I've already done the calculations or the, the scaled down to one twelfth scale and I put it into metric uh, and that's mainly because when you start getting into these smaller numbers, uh, metric is a little bit easier to, uh, to work with for me. So we're going to do 16 millimeters by 7.5 millimeters roughly, and then uh, we're probably not going to cut any, this should actually be depth, but we're not probably going to cut any 5 millimeter. Um, but if we needed to, that's how deep that would be. Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and get this set up. Uh, get the camera set up in a better position and we'll get started. All right, so first things first, we need, or at least we're going to hope that uh, our piece has a square edge. And it's pretty darn easy to check that out to see if you've actually got a square edge simply by putting that corner into your square. And if there's no open, empty space, you've probably got a square edge. So, first, we're going to do some measuring. And I used to, I used to use a black Sharpie um, to draw all my lines first and then cut. And I don't do that anymore. What I do is I will use it to make a quick measurement dot and that's it. And I'll explain, well, I'll explain it now. Um, so I was gonna do seven and a half millimeters high. So five, six, seven. And, and obviously this doesn't need to be perfect if you don't, you know, if you're not a perfectionist, if you're not looking for, you know, it to look quite like this, that is a-okay. But the reason that I don't use the marker throughout for the lines anymore is I found that when I was painting, sometimes it took way too many coats of just my black wash to get that to hide these these lines so now I just have the little dots and it's a little bit easier it's also a little quicker because you're not technically doing double work you know, we'll just leave that one alrighty set that aside so we've got our piece and now it's time to go ahead and start cutting okay so grab your square and your utility knife. 
And I usually like to have the T portion at the top. I don't know really why, but that's what I prefer. Line it up on that first line, making sure that it is flush and good and square. And then make sure that you hold this thing down nice and tight and real gently, not very deep. You're just going to score a line. And you're just going to do that for each measurement dot that you've got. Taking care to make sure that, you know, you eyeball it also to make sure that it is straight. Just in case your square isn't flush. And this, this doesn't need to cut down all that deep. Make sure that you've got your blade at, it's about, I don't know, that's probably about a 30 degree angle. Otherwise it's going to start tearing your, um, your foam board and you don't want that. <clears throat> Although that could give sort of a nice weathered look. That's usually what I wind up calling my projects when that sort of stuff happens, is it was supposed to be a weathered, a weathered look. Alrighty. So next up we're gonna take our pencil and we again we want it to be really sharp, and we're gonna gently put it into that groove, and we are going to run it the length of the foam and that's just going to give that groove that much more depth so you can see that's what we've got thus far <clears throat> alrighty so next up you have to decide with your brick design are you going to do a staggered brick or are you going to do basically a stacked uh, design or some other design. I'm just going to do a staggered. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and from one edge I'm going to measure in my length which was going to be 16 centimeters. So, oops, and I'm just going to continue doing that the length of my project. So one thing to note, um, before you get started cutting the, uh, the vertical lines, you do want to make sure that you don't get like a really, really thin um, brick on one side or the other. So it might not be a bad idea to measure the entire length of your piece and then divide it by you know, your, your overall length of your um, brick and then you know exactly how many bricks you're gonna have and you can determine do I need to start from the center to offset it or whatever so I'm not gonna get into that but we are going to go ahead and start cutting <coughs> our lines and for this we're gonna use this thing again and for this we're going to just gently score line on every other, and I should probably do it on this side so you guys can see. I'm going to do just a light line on every other brick um, row. Making sure that I keep my blade straight up with my ruler. And some people eyeball this. A lot of people eyeball it. Um, I I just can't I can't bring myself to do that. I don't know why. It'd save a lot of time. But I probably wouldn't be I wouldn't get my bricks as straight. Some people don't measure anything, and that 
is great for them. If I didn't measure anything, my projects wouldn't look very good. <clears throat> Alrighty. So for the sake of time, once you've got all of those cut, or as many as you're ready to do, then you're just gonna take your pencil again, and you're going to gently run that through that groove to widen it. You're gonna do that on every single one. This is why a lot of people hate brickwork. It is very time consuming. And I haven't figured out, aside from not writing on it and just starting the cut right away, I haven't figured out a faster way of doing this. All right, so the next step then is really to take, and you want to find the center of one of these bricks. It doesn't even really matter. So I'm doing 16, so I need to do eight millimeters in and that's gonna be my center for my next row. And that's going to be right about here. And then I can go ahead and measure my 16 in or 16 millimeters. And you're just going to measure out, just like we did on the other one row of these, 16 millimeters all the way across. And for the sake of time, I'm only gonna do a few of these. Alrighty, and let's go this way on. And one more. Perfect. Okay, and now we're going to grab our T-square again. We're gonna line it up so that hopefully you guys can see. And again, every other, except this time we're doing the row that we, or the rows that we haven't done yet. So it would be, for these, it would probably be much easier to use a regular X-Acto. And I do have one, but I still like using the utility knife, I don't know why. You want to make sure that as you're cutting, you're being careful not to cut into the row that doesn't need, doesn't need to be cut. So then we're going to again take our pencil lightly, widening those gaps. And just like that, you've got a perfect brick wall. Alrighty folks, I hope this has been helpful. Uh, make sure you stay tuned for more. Uh, click subscribe, follow me on Facebook. Uh, check out some of my other diorama tutorial videos as well. And until then, I will see you later. Tetris Brain Blast.